Charlie. He's in a dilemma. He's got a crazy science teacher who wants him to do some type of report for class. And he just doesn't know how he's going to accomplish that. Then just as he was about ready to give up, he had a friend introduce him to Google Docs. Google Docs. Now this made Charlie just a little bit curious. How could Google Docs help him out with his project? Well, Charlie, you're just a few clicks away from understanding how Google Docs can help you store your projects online. So wherever you are with available internet, you can access your document and work on it. The first step is to go to the Google browser and choose the Gmail setup. You'll go in and set up your very own Gmail accounts. You can have contacts and also have contact to invite the teacher to your documents. Be sure to use proper web safety rules and do not use your entire name to set up your account. Simply type in your first initial, last name, and then for your username, use your last name, first initial, and whatever numbers you would like to make it secure. That way it makes it easier for the teacher to sort the emails that come in. Follow the rest of the procedure to the end of your account, setting up your safety password, and register your account. The next step when you come in, very first thing, is to contact your instructor. So make sure that you hit the Communicate tab. Go up and be sure that you also spell your instructor's email correctly. In this case, note that there are two K's and two R's in your instructor's email address. Make sure you have those so you're not emailing someone else randomly out in the Gmail population. Send them a quick message that you've set up your account. And that way they can also add you to their contact list to invite you to other documents and also see that you're online. Okay, Charlie, now that you've set up your Gmail account, you're ready to move on to Google Docs. Click on Google Docs in the top menu. It'll take you directly into your account. The very first thing when you get into your account is to set up a file for the class that you are completing. In this case, it's physical science. Here you'll be able to store all of your documents and keep everything organized. And that way, if you have multiple classes, you can make sure that all of your files are neatly organized and you can find documents easily. Now you're able to select from any one of the applications. There are Excel type applications, Word, and also a presentation application that's very much like PowerPoint. You're able to retitle your assignment by clicking on the untitled area. Be sure to add the assignment number to the title as well so that way it's easier to track what assignment number you're on and keep track of all of your files again through your Google Docs. You'll find that this is a very similar presentation to what you might see in Word, PowerPoint, or Excel. The nice thing with this is that it automatically saves all of your information online. If you happen to accidentally erase a portion of your file, you're able to go back to an earlier revision, click on that, and start from there. So no more computer crashes. The other nice thing about this application is that you're able to share information with others. In particular, you'll be sharing your presentations and documents with your instructor, so that way they may be able to edit all of your information. In fact, they can go in while you're in there and help you edit your paper. What you'll do is you'll select them as a collaborator. You'll also notice that there are some other advanced features that you can click on um, to not allow others to share your document. You're able to select your collaborators from a list of your contacts, invite them, send them a quick email to let them know that they are invited to your document. And once you've sent your email off, you'll notice that on the right hand side, you'll get a list of all people who you are sharing your document with.
you're then able to go back and begin editing your document. Any further changes that you make, the collaborators will be able to see as well. There's a lot of other features. You can add pictures to this. The only thing is, is you cannot copy directly from the web into the presentation document. You do need to save all pictures to your computer and then upload them into the document so they'll be, be attached. You're then able to pull them in, resize them. You also are able to choose different backgrounds for your presentations within this as well. So most of the functions that you get in OpenOffice or Word are also within Google Docs. To organize your work into folders, you'll put a green check mark in the box, select which folder you would like to have it stored in, and then it will be available in that folder and then in also all items. You'll also notice that you will be able to see who all is sharing your document with you at that time. Okay, Charlie, now you're ready to get started on your very own Google Doc. Thank you.